Hey guys, what's going on? It's Bacon here, and in today's episode, we're gonna go check out Life Pod 19. Uh, I already listened to the log, so, um... Let me see... Right here. This is Officer Keen in Life Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Welcome aboard, Captain. Which way is it? Right there. It's hard to see. So, in the last episode, we left off, like, visiting that alien. That alien ship. Or, not even ship, like, base or whatever it's called. And, uh, trying to get on the, on, like, the rescue pod, but it blew it up. So, we gotta figure out how to shut it off so we can go see it. We need to find diamond, too. Is. Oh, it's, it's this. It's a salt deposit. Let's get back on course. What's this? This thing's just attacking my sea moth. Let's get out of there. Oh. Looks like we're going in deeper than what we've ever went before. Oh, it's 300 meters down there. I don't know if... This thing's only rated for two. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. We got it right above it. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Seen that before? I don't think. Maybe I have. Biodiversity in this region is unusually low. Cause unknown. Integrating new PDA data. Ultra high capacity tank. Ooh. Anything good in here? Signal location uploaded to PDA. Integrating new PDA data. I 
hand scan. Oh, no. Oh. Ruby. That's something new. I have not died again. We'll go back on an adventure now. Ooh, got very bright down here. Special equipment. It's probably diamond. I need to find out how to get diamond. Because uh, I, I have the laser cutter, but I can't do anything with it because I don't have... I don't have... Li uh... Yeah, see, I need the laser cutter to get in there, too. Let's head back to our thing. Oh, uh, let's guess head out to this are we in some type of cave or this must be land Some type of land. Integrating new PDA data. Biodiversity in this week picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. To all crew, if you are reading this, then you have followed the automatic distress signal broadcast by the life pods on board computer. Contrary to my orders, I have been forced to evacuate. Your orders are to discreet, discard my safety and attempt to reach the designated red, uh, blah, gosh, I can't read, Rendez of uh, coordinates at the nearest landmass. I hope to see you there. Keen, this is Aurora. Come in. This is Keen. Life pods attached to a cave planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Apparently there's multiple life on this island. I'm gonna go ahead and
vital signs stabilizing. So let's go check out up here. There's nothing down there, so... Huh? Oh, we don't even have much battery left. Oh, there's something up there. Huh? And up there. Ming plant. Uh, hardy specimen which grows on land. The vast little trunk protects the roots system from pre predation and self repairs over time. Explaining the characteristic cracks on the side. Those are up there. At least I had another battery. Never mind. I only had one percent life. Yes. Well, looks like a house. House with like a little uh Is full. Hmm. Ooh, that thing's huge. Ooh, big scan. complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Let's go see what's up on this one. Looks like it's going back down. Be nice to find another battery. Pick up 
that gold matter. So pick up one of them. Chinese potato. Marble melon. Integrating new PDA data. Observatory. Ooh, I didn't see those things down there. Yeah, let's just run down the side of a cliff. Another one of those creepy things. How do I get in there? Figure out how to get in that. New blueprint acquired. Integrating new PDA data. Yes, I know I got some new PDA data. Um, what else did I get? I got an observatory. Bulkhead. Endor. Grow bed. Wall planter. Also learned if I can find it. High capacity one right there. Wait. Thought I learned like an ultra capacity one. Maybe that is it. Maybe that is it. Wait. What's the one I have on now? High capacity. Huh. Maybe I already knew it. Huh? 
don't think there's anything else on this island. I mean, there's a lot of things on this. There's a cave over here. I probably shouldn't be just running and randomly jumping. Let me get back to our sea mall. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Integrating new PDA data. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. We take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site. A couple hundred meters deep. Lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials, like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. So it looks like that's what we're going to be doing in our next episode. Huh? Going to go visit that. And this should be our Seamoth, yes. It. Well, get up on land. But that's going to end off here, guys. Uh, our next video is going to be about proposed the grassy habitat. It's 250 meters down, so the sea moth will be able to get us a good portion of the way there. But, anyways, I will see you guys all in the next one.